Hi everyone, welcome to Jam Online. Do you remember last week we heard about the Israelites wanting to leave Egypt? Well today we're going to hear about how they managed it. God's people, the Israelites, had been slaves in Egypt for about 500 years. That is a very long time. And now they were finally free. Pharaoh had said they could go. They were free to make a home in their very own land. God chose Moses as their leader and so they packed up everything that they could carry and they followed Moses. Moses always knew which direction to go in because God put a big tall pillar of cloud, a bit like that one, in front of them during the day and a big tall pillar of fire, a bit like that one, in front of them at night so they didn't get lost because God showed them the correct way to go. Eventually the pillar stopped by the water, the Red Sea, and the Israelites camped by the water and waited to see what God would tell them to do next. Meanwhile, back in Egypt, Pharaoh and his officials began thinking about how the Israelites had left. God had shown through the ten plagues, remember, the flies and the frogs and the gnats and the locusts and other things as well, that he was more powerful than the king of Egypt and all their gods. At the time, because of the plagues, Pharaoh had told the Israelites that they could leave, but now he's having second thoughts. If all the slaves left Egypt, who would do all the work? So Pharaoh decided to chase after the Israelites and make them come back. He sent all of his horses and his chariots and all of his horsemen and his troops, and he must have thought no one can stop this army. When God's people saw the Egyptian army approaching in the distance, they were very frightened because they were trapped. The army was behind them and the Red Sea was in front of them. How were they going to get away? The people complained to their leader, why did you take us out of Egypt just to die here? It would have been better if we'd stayed there. But Moses said, don't be afraid. Stand firm and you'll see how God will save you today. The Egyptians will never win because God will fight for you. Now amazing things began to happen right before their eyes. The people thought the water trapped them, but they were about to see that God is very powerful. At God's command, Moses held out a big stick, just like this one, and stretched it out over the water, and the water began to change. A strong wind blew up, and the water blew up into two walls, so there were walls of water on either side, a bit like that one and that one, and dry land down the middle. God had provided a way for them to get across the sea. When the Egyptians saw the dry land, they thought, follow the Israelites, they thought, we'll be able to catch them now. Do you think they did? No, they didn't, because strange things began happening to them. The wheels of their chariots got clogged up and began falling off, and it was difficult to drive. And by the time the Egyptians realised that God was fighting against them, it was too late. Now that the Israelites were safely over on the other side, God told Moses to stretch his big staff out over the water again. And soon all of the Egyptian army was covered with the water and they couldn't chase the Israelites anymore. The people were so happy that God had saved them from their enemies and they sang and they danced and they celebrated. Now let's pray together and then we'll sing, How Did Moses Cross the Red Sea? Father God, we thank you that you saved the Israelites from their enemies and that you were taking them to a new land which would be their home. We thank you that you help us too when we cry out to you. We praise you for all the good things you do for us, all the good things you give to us. We thank you for homes and families and food to eat and clothes to wear and toys to play with. Amen. And now we're going to sing. How did Moses cross the Red Sea? Jump, no, no. 
old blue with his whip, pop, 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 pop. He blew just enough, nuff, 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 until the sea god made our path. That's how he got across. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you've enjoyed our story and we'll see you again next week for another Jam Online. And meantime, stay safe.